Yes. Okay. In the last session, sir, just I covered above. Just, just I covered. I, I, I covered about some important things related to okay constructors related to constructors some important terminology i i i covered i covered okay so here now the next thing what i have to discuss over under this there is one small important conclusion is here sir do you know we can use uh, super super this is there super under this is there next uh, we have super keyword and this keyword is also there okay remember that sir what is the difference between these two things sir? you people you people should evade sir sir these are constructor calls correct or not are to call super class constructor to call current class constructor what it is one to call super class constructor to call current class constructor constructor like these are constructor calls constructor calls next sir these are keywords remember this one these are keywords 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 to refer to refer parent class and the current class instance members parent class and the current class instance members instance instance members parent class and the current class instance members remember this one so super super okay here just observe that okay so so far under this these are the constructor calls these are the these are the constructor calls okay next uh so far under these keywords uh, to refer parent class and current class instance members instance instance members okay like uh, this is this thing right so next uh, we can use these things uh, only inside we can use these things uh, only inside constructor are you getting only only inside constructor yes sir, these are things sir. we can use only only inside constructor inside constructor next we can use uh, these things uh, sir anywhere 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 inside constructor in the first line only in the first line only only but uh, these are things sir, we can use anywhere anywhere any number of times any number of times any number of times any number of times except the static area remember this one except the static area static static area area like that so do you know here these are constructor calls from one constructor we can call another constructor by using either super or this but these things are suggest instance variable keywords to refer parent class and current class instance members right okay like so anywhere anywhere we can call anywhere any number of times except static area you can use these things anywhere sir except static area why in the static area these things are not allowed why in the static area these things are not allowed the reason the reason for that is why why these things are not allowed inside static area the reason the reason for this is these are things always talks about instance members are instance variable instance method like these things always talk about instance instance variables like static area no way related to object static area no way related to object that's why that's why what will happen is uh, so this is what will what will happen in this in this uh, terminology so for under this anywhere any number of times uh, in the static area no way related to object that's why if you are using so for under this instance static area immediately error by default you are going to get sir so take very very special care about about this terminology friends okay now here have a have a look once by mistake if i'm using by mistake if i'm if i'm using sir inside the static area okay sir here this dot this dot or so for that so for that hash code hash code so for that hash code in the parent class object class already hash code method is there can you please call that super dot hash code immediately compiler is ready to be left and right are uh, this sofa you have to use inside instance area but not in static area like uh, immediately compile time error we are, we are going to get sir sir just uh, let me cross check this one here have a look once if i if i can take like uh, what is the answer by default we are going to get java c 
test dot java immediately get line error by default you are going to get sir yes sir non static variable so far cannot be referenced from a static context this is the error by default we are we are going to get observe it carefully about about this terminology trends so you can use a so far or this anywhere except the static area remember right any doubt about this one can you please confirm yes friends so what about what about so far under this what about so far under this these are constructor calls we can use only inside constructor that is in the first line okay we have restriction but these are things are keywords you can use anywhere any number of times anywhere any number of times but make sure anywhere any number of times you can use the but to make make sure sir the difference make sure the important conclusion any number of times you can call except a static area but static area you can't call okay bhaskar we can call one constructor from another constructor no problem at all that's what so far under this what they are doing i will show with the example don't worry so that you people can can feel more comfortable i'm sure okay like that, that's all this is about the what is what is the what is the i mean so far under this right next uh, do you know here just to take very special care about this one overloaded constructors overloaded constructors overloaded constructors okay now my important conclusion my important point is sir can you please tell overloading concept is it applicable for constructors is it is it applicable for constructors overloading concept is it applicable for constructors yes yes no problem within a class we can take multiple constructors also now just uh, have a look once sir very important observe carefully here i am taking test of double dip it is the it is the, it is the constructor like now here just i am taking this of 10 this of 10 10 i am calling i am calling another constructor of the current class now system dot out dot print ln double double arg okay double double arg like like i am i am trying to take sir okay that's all next uh, second constructor i am taking now the second constructor is sir this is assume that int i am trying to take sir this okay like like just i am calling no argument constructor here int arg like i am trying to take sir double arg int arg next let me take one more constructor okay like no arg okay here i am not taking anything sir here just no arg like a beautiful example just observe carefully about this one sir okay now have a look once sir how many constructors are there in this class please confirm how many how many constructors are there in this class three constructors sir three constructors are there sir sir this is the double arg under this one is the int arg under this one is the no arg all these constructors sir, having the having the same name all these constructors having the same name but a different argument types that's why we can use the word overloaded constructors correct correct right all these things are overloaded constructors are not yes all these constructors having same name but a different argument types that's why these are overloaded constructors like this right so now i'm taking test t1 is equal to new test i'm taking so now now in this case in this case which constructor will be executed sir very simple no arg constructor remember only no arg constructor will be executed right okay the code compiles fine now java test i'm taking yes sir, no arg constructor like it's going to it's going to execute sir no arg constructor like that sir now i'm taking test t1 is equal to new test of 10 can you please tell in this case which constructor is going to execute yes observe we are always calling we are always calling no argument constructor uh, sorry here int argument int, int argument now this constructor is going to execute as a part of this one as a part of this one do you know sir here this is there it is a call to another constructor of the same class no argument now this one is going to execute first it will be printed after completing this one next it will be printed what the answer we are going to get now no arg followed by int arg no arg followed by int arg yes make sure yes now observe carefully about this one what the answer no arg followed by int arg 
Are you in a position to understand? From one constructor, how you can call another constructor? For which purpose this is, is working? Okay, like that. Now I'm taking 10.5. Everyone can you please guess what the answer we are going to get now? If I use 10.5, what the answer we are going to get? Almost it is the dancing between constructor right? Test T1 is equal to new test of 10.5. Test T1 is equal to new test of 10.5. Anyone can you please tell what the answer we are going to get, sir? Sir, now here 10.5. 10.5. Now observe a bit very carefully. This constructor is going to get in the chance. But in the, it is calling interrogate constructor. Because of that, now the control is coming here. But here, there is a there. Because of that, it will come here. Now, no arg. Once no arg completed, next interg. Once interg constructor execution completed, now double arg. So, what the answer? No arg. Int arg and then double arg is going to get in the chance. Yes, friends. Now, multiple constructors with the same name but a different argument types is possible. Yes, Abja. What answer by default you are going to get? No arg, int arg, and then double arg like this. Yes, friends. Can you please confirm? Is it clear for all of you, right? Okay, that's all. So, this is uh, just a constructor overloading. Uh, constructor chaining, you can use the word. Constructor overloaded, overloaded constructor select, you can use. So, overloading concept. Is it applicable for constructors or not? Yes, possible. No problem at all. Happily, itself is applicable, sir. Overloading concept. Is it applicable for the constructors or not? Yes, like that. So, what is the benefit of this one? Is uh, what is the what the benefit? Anyone can you please guess what what the benefit is there? Anyone anyone can you please guess what the benefit is there? Yes, friends. I can use the word. What is the benefit? What is the benefit? Code reusability. Code reusability is the biggest benefit. Okay, because assume that, assume, assume that, okay, just, uh, I, 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 I want to pass, uh, there are 10 instance variables are there, assume, A, B, C, D, E, F, uh, E, yeah, sir. E, F, G, H, E, F, G, H, I, okay, J, something like that, there are 10 almost uh, multiple instance variables are there, sir. But at runtime, how many instance variables you are going to pass? We don't know. We don't know. Yes, sort of observe the scenario. How many instance variables you may pass only two, you may pass only three, or you may pass only four, or otherwise, instead of that, more realistic example, let me let me take that. Sir, I have, I have class, uh, inquiry is there, sir. Inquiry is there. Assume that for our institute, students are coming for the inquiry. At the end of the day, I have to create inquiry object based on provided based on provided student information. Sir, I will ask uh, what is his name? Okay, just uh, I'm just roughly I'm taking. I will ask what is his name. Next and after that, uh, uh, mobile number. Okay, mobile number I will ask. Mobile mobile number I will ask. Next and after that, mail ID I will ask. Next uh, which course uh, they are interested. Next time after that, which time they are interested, something like which time they are interested, yeah, they are interested. Next time after that, okay, like, like, uh, I'm, I'm asking about these things, right? Sir, next, uh, either type, fast track or normal track, normal, normal track or fast track, like uh, type, type, uh, so force type, something like uh, I have my video. Sir, how many fields are there? Name, mobile number, mail ID, course. Time like the six six fields are available. Yes, sure. Observe carefully. Six fields are there. Now my requirement is okay. One student came. One student came. So he is going to provide. He is going to provide name, mobile number, mail ID, course, course. Okay, assume assume that name, name, mobile number, mail ID, course, time, type. Everything he provided. Everything he provided. Ah, he provided. Only these three things, these four things, right? Only these four things. Then even only these four things he provided, but I have to create an inquiry object. Remember this one. What I will do is, okay, just uh, I will take one constructor. I will take one, one constructor, one constructor. 
okay like so. i will take one one construct uh, what what i will take uh, here whatever fields are there okay up to that this constructor is the responsible to perform initialization of course here this uh, dot name is equal to name this dot name is equal to name something like i will i will take i will take assume that so there is uh, another student came he provided complete information he provided complete complete information now what i have to take is sir i want another constructor i want i want another another constructor another constructor which is the responsible which is the which is the responsible to initialize all the fields okay assume that he provided all the fields okay like uh, i want to perform initialization now observe this what is the code i have to take inside inside this one this dot name is equal to name this dot mobile number is equal to mobile number this dot mail id this dot code are for the first four fields initialization already this constructor is there why we have to do this activity again just the call this r this r name name mobile number name mobile number okay up to this now just a simple one line a simple one line this line is the responsible to perform initialization of all the first four fields <clears throat> now next the remaining things this dot time is equal to time this dot type is equal to time this dot type is equal to type something like that yes so are you in the position to understand are you seeing code reusability instead of writing instead of writing this dot time is equal to name this dot like four times here just the only one line only one line this line itself is responsible okay to invoke that. okay this is what the code reusability because of overloaded constructor because of this uh, and super super also because of this and super main advantage is code reusability okay even there are some instance variables which are coming there are some instance variables which are coming from the parent from the parent i have to perform initialization for all those things in the child okay there are some instance variables which are coming from the parent i have to perform are i'm not interested just uh, i will call super class constructor if i call super class constructor parent is the responsible to perform initialization of these things because already parent having the constructor to perform initialization of these four fields because these four fields are coming from the parent assume that <coughs> are you getting the basic idea the biggest advantage of super call the biggest advantage of the biggest advantage of super call and the, this call is uh, code reusability code redundancy duplicate code we can remove okay just aware next uh, this is the this is the biggest advantage right okay well now the next uh, cinema what i have to talk here that's all next uh, one more thing i have to i have to discuss for you people right one more one more thing i have to take care here what what the point is now observe you bit very very carefully about this one parent class constructor okay here we we know we know the overloading is applicable for constructors overloading is applicable for constructors for constructors but but over here just observe inheritance is not applicable for constructors inheritance is not uh, applicable for constructors so here most of the people are having the doubt in this area so inheritance concept parent class constructor by default not available to the child class what is the meaning why why this one is not happening here just uh, have a look once sir here i'm taking <clears throat> here I'm, i'm trying to take class p okay parent class contain public public void public void m1 method is there okay like that. now i'm trying to take the class c class c extends p class c extends p public void m2 is there okay like that. public void m1 
public void m2 m2 is there sir okay well now my question now my important conclusion is sir here how many how many names sir? here just m1 is there next is also m2 is there can you please tell for the child class how many methods are there For child class, how many methods are there? Two methods are there. Correct. Two methods are there. M1 method and then M2 method. M1 method and then M2, M2 method. Two methods are there for the, for the child class. Okay, like the two methods are there, sir. Now my question is, take very special care about, about this terminal direct. Now, now my point, now my point here is if I contain in the parent class, no argument constructed is there. In the child class, in the child class, okay, sir, there is a inter argument constructor is there. Assumed. For the child class, how many constructors are there? Can you please confirm? For the child class, how many constructors are there? How many constructors are there? Respond, respond. How many constructors are there for the child class? Only one, only one. Because parent class constructor not available to the child class but parent class method by default available to the child class sir here just uh, have a look once here what i'm trying to take here just uh, observe carefully the same code the same code right sir now here for the child i'm creating child class object i'm creating child class object child c is equal to new child of 10 i'm taking yes in the child class, this constructor is already there. Already there, no problem. Now, c dot m1, c dot m2, I'm trying to call. Is it valid code or not? Respond, respond. Is it valid code or not? Yes, perfectly valid. I'm creating an object on the child object. You are calling parent class method and child class method. Perfectly valid, no problem at all. Sir, now my question here is, yes, valid. I'm not seeing any error at all. Any error perfectly with the value. But now, here in the class contain no argument constructor. Let me take that no argument constructor here. Let me let me take that uh, sorry. Let me take that uh, no argument constructor also. Okay, here in the contain no argument constructor, right? That's why I'm trying to take C1. I'm trying to take C1. Now observe that immediately compile time and we are going to get. What is the reason here? Array child class doesn't contain no argument constructor. Then immediately you can tell, hey, parent class contain no argument constructor. Sorry, parent class constructor by default not available to the child class. By default not available to the child class. That's why now have a look once. <clears throat> now have a look once. Constructor in C cannot be applied. Yes, at this line, at this line. Okay, the error by default we are going to get. I hope, are you in the position to understand? Parent class constructor not available. But parent class method available to the child class. That's why inheritance concept not applicable, not applicable for constructor. Sir, practically I showed this. Any doubt? <coughs> yes, friend. Inheritance concept not applicable. Inheritance concept not applicable for the constructors but it's applicable for methods remember right but it's applicable for methods so here this line itself is invalid okay line two line one okay line three line four like i'm taking sir so among these lines which line will cause compile time error okay this line is going to cause compile time error but the reason for that is parent class constructor not available to the child class remember this one okay which line causes compile time error which line causes compile time error compile time error okay line line two causes compile time error what that compile time error we are going to get yes it's already there any doubt? Can you please confirm? Inheritance concept is it applicable for constructors or not? 
inheritance concept is it applicable for constructors or not? Can you please tell? Yes, friends. Inheritance concept is it applicable for constructors or not? Okay. No, no. Only for methods it's applicable, but for constructors it's not applicable. Next, what about the overriding? So once inheritance only not there, parent class constructor not available, not available to the child class. Parent class construct are not available to the child class, then where is the question of overriding? That's why overriding concepts also not applicable for constructors, friends. Okay, so just uh, maybe a chance to ask the question. Okay, like uh, so which of the following? Which of the following are valid? Which of the following? <clears throat> which of the following are valid? Are valid are true? Okay, like uh, sir, now just uh, observe this. A overloading is applicable for constructors inheritance overloading concept overloading concept is applicable for constructors inheritance concept is applicable is is applicable for constructors is applicable for constructors next uh, sir overriding concept overriding concept is applicable for constructors applicable for constructors okay next uh, all of these all of these what the answer sir can you please follow <clears throat> which of the following are valid which of the following are valid which one is the correct answer only a only a inheritance is not applicable once inheritance is not applicable where is the question of overriding that's why no such type of terminology you people should aware clearly right any doubt okay next the uh, there are some three important cases are there. Let me talk about these things. Most uh, valuable cases for the exam section. Okay, most valuable, most valuable uh, cases for the exam. What the first one here is? So do you know if I can take uh, yes, if if I'm taking this one, very very important, very important terminology. Please uh, take a bit special care. Okay, there are two quotes. I will I will I will explain. Sir, observe carefully. Here, public, <coughs> public static void M1. M1 is there. Next, uh, inside M1, M2 method I'm calling. Public static void M1, inside that M2 I'm calling. Public static void M2, inside M2 I'm trying to call M1 method. I'm trying to call M1, M1 method, right? Now, M1 calls M2, M2 calls M1. Can you please just observe? If I print the system data out of print ln, hello, hello, what is the answer we, we are going to get? Respond, respond. If I execute this code, what is the output you are going to get? Hey, you are thinking, M1 calls M2, M2 calls M1. What is the, what the output you are going to get now? If, if I execute this code, what the, what the answer we are going to get is, hello, hello is the answer. Why, why, hello we are going to get? Why hello, hello we are going to get? Because M1 calls M2, M2 calls M1, but we are not calling any method. But we are not calling any method, that's why. But we are, we are not calling any, any method, that is, the, that is the reason. Okay, like, so what is, the, what is the answer? We are not calling either M1 or M2, that's why. So here, hello is the answer, sir. Let me compile this code. Yes, let me run this code. Hello is the answer. Okay, now my requirement is, now my, my requirement is, sir, here, <coughs> now my, my requirement is, here, just uh, my, my, my target, just uh, my, my target here is, observe carefully, right, okay, uh, here I'm trying to take, here, here I'm trying to, trying to take, uh, M1, I'm, I'm calling M1, sir, now observe this, M1, I'm calling, yeah, the cinema is going to start, okay, so if you call M1, if you call M1, what will happen? What will happen in this case is recursive method of call. Because for every thread, JVM is always going to create one stack. Okay, JVM is always going to create one stack for every thread. So every method call performed by the thread will be stored inside that stack. First, main, main will be saved here. Next, main internally calls M1. M1 will be saved. Okay, M1. M1 internally calls M2. M2 will be saved. M2 internally calls M1. M1 will be saved. M1 internally calls M2. M2 will be saved. 
this cycle very far will continue 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 at certain point this stack is going to overflow that's why stack overflow error stack overflow error we are going to get that stack overflow error we will get that remember this a bit very carefully about this one sir we are going to get which one stack overflow error error like this we are going to get sir now if i if i run this code yes i'm sure stack overflow error only <clears throat> okay sir just observe that just have a have a have a look once just i want to i want to run i want to run okay now observe just i stop the intentionally control c a user because i want to show stack overflow error okay like just one minute just i'm moving to the top yeah good excellent are you are you seeing right exception in the thread main stack overflow m2 calls m main main method calls main method okay m1 calls m2 m2 calls m1 okay like it, this keep on this keep on is going to be is going to be done that's why it is the runtime exception stack overflow error we are we are going to get sir are you getting so recursive method call recursive method call is always a runtime exception recursive method call method call is always a runtime exception always a runtime exception exception saying uh, saying always runtime exception saying stack overflow error stack overflow error error okay like this one sir okay man well. sir now the next thing <clears throat> now the next next thing what what we have to take what what we we, we report to take care here just observe why don't you apply same concept for the constructors why don't you apply same same concept for the constructor now take very a bit a bit special case sir. okay now listen carefully sir listen listen carefully here i have test constructor is there i have test test constructor is there in the just i'm calling this of 10 this of 10 so this of 10 means uh, we are calling another constructor we are calling we are calling another another constructor okay the same class which can take int argument right okay now i'm taking int <coughs> but this one calls uh, sir no arg constructor yeah wonderful can you please confirm what is the output we are going to get in this case excellent swarup what about the many people can you please tell what the answer we are going to get in this case if i run this code <coughs> am it good so you are following videos properly it seems <laughs> what is the what is the answer we are going to get in this case friends yes what about in this case pascal yes here first constructor calls second constructor second constructor calls first constructor but we are not creating any object <coughs> we are not creating any object that's why can you please guess what the answer we are going to get in this case anyone what is the output we are going to get in this case hello okay take very special case sir that is the thing associated with constructor recursive recursive constructor invocation if there is a chance of recursive constructor invocation we are not required to create an object we are not required to call immediately compile time and we are going to get okay so if there is any chance of recursive constructor invocation if there is any chance any chance of recursive constructor invocation constructor invocation 
if there is any chance of recursive constructor invocation then we will get we will get compile time error then we will get compile time error a bit a dangerous thing sir so take special care about about this one sir let me execute this let me execute this one what will happen in this case here sir compile compilation only fails recursive constructor invocation compile time error only fails recursive constructor invocation are you getting that what the compile time error we are getting recursive constructor invocation like a error we are going to get okay take very special care about about this terminology friends <clears throat> yes any doubt clear right so if there is any chance of recursive constructor invocation so immediately we are going to get compile time error so compiler is doing good things there are several things with respect to the constructor but compiler never going to do anything with respect to the methods that is a bigger thing why recursive constructor invocation is also checked by compiler because related to constructor compiler has to do big activity something like uh, creating uh, something like uh, creating default constructor adding so far all these things it is responsible to do right yeah the part of the is there any chance of recursive constructor invocation compiler is going to guess friends <clears throat> that's why clear right so recursive method of call is always runtime exception but recursive constructor invocation is always compile time error one is runtime exception second one is compile time error okay next second case right very very important case sir observe carefully okay what the what the second case is <clears throat> yes correct amit amit okay so amit is asking uh, just another another small what will happen we will we will check sir in this case okay forget about this one i have no argument constructor is there now now <clears throat> i'm calling test t is equal to new test maybe compile time error maybe okay test t is equal to new test okay like i'm taking internally <coughs> what will happen okay we are not creating an object here okay here 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 inside the code my compiler never going to check compiler never going to check okay now here observe uh, one minute one minute we are just observe that okay what is the output we are going to get just a simply hello hello because we are not calling this constructor okay now what i'm trying to say let me create an object yes we compile and run amit we compile and run already one minute compile run hello okay now i'm creating an object test t is equal to new test so whenever you are creating an object here automatically automatically this constructor is going to execute yeah the part of that you are creating another object automatically this constructor is going to execute again this constructor now what will happen sir yes the code no problem but definitely at one time we are going to get the problem yes what the problem we are getting are you seeing right stack overflow here are you seeing so this is is the constructor to constructor direct calls are available direct calls are available then compiler can guess but internally because of code is coming then compiler can guess then it will become runtime error stack overflow error remember a bit very carefully about all these nonsense 
<laughs> getting only this particular case we are getting compile time error but uh, but here just observe because of this uh, because of this so far it is always going to identify because compiler job is adding this adding so far or otherwise generating default constructor like that but uh, because of this type of thing compiler not in a position to identify immediately that type exception we are going to get okay observe carefully don't get confused next thing i have i have one dangerous case observe carefully right i have one one dangerous case is there yeah yeah just another uh, five minutes no problem you can leave okay just one more five more minutes yeah we must don't worry yeah uh, now have a have a look once okay uh, now have a have a look once this is a bit important class p class p i'm taking this is the class c can you please tell if this code is going to compile or not please confirm if you i have only this code assume that i saved this code as p dot java or c dot java is it going to compile or not yes i'm not doing any mistake at all happily this one is going to is going to compile happily this one is going to compile no problem at all now observe sorry now observe the java c here just i'm, I'm trying to take java c java java c okay here just i'm trying to take java java c p dot java happily the code is going to compile we never never required to never required to compile this code okay here just uh, have a have a look once uh, sir what's my requirement is observe carefully here now i'm taking in the parent okay i'm taking the constructor like this sir here in the in the child i'm taking the constructor like this okay is it valid or not can you please confirm can you please can you please confirm confirm this one is it valid or not yes observe that this is my coding snippet one snippet coding coding snippet one coding snippet one here just observe that yes the first coding snippet is this one we never going to face any problem at all next coding snippet two coding coding snippet two is uh, just observe that this is my code this is this is my my code sir okay sir this is the code what i have okay coding snippet two can you please tell is it valid or not valid i'm not doing any mistake at all are even so far is there compiler is always going to play so far in the parent no argument constructor is already there why i have to worry it shall be the valid valid right okay even i can remove this part also compiler is always going to generate default constructor no problem at all which is the parent contain already there okay now have a look once perfect there is no problem at all now my question is now now my question is here just observe here i'm taking in the p in the i i'm taking like this can you please confirm this coming this is the easy valid or invalid respond respond is it valid or invalid yes i'm taking just simple example is it valid or invalid okay take a bit special care this one is 100% uh, pakka invalid compile time error we are going to get what the reason is now observe that. now observe that. here parent uh, compiler is always going to place a super okay like the compiler is always going to place super here compiler is always going to generate a default constructor default constructor inside the default constructor super is there inside the default constructor super super is there okay super is there now now do you know parent the class parent the class doesn't contain no argument constructor parent the class doesn't contain no argument constructor that's why so what is the answer we are going to get is the uh, compiler is ready to give left and right but the reason is are compiler is going to place default constructor where super is there super means no argument can no argument call but in the parent no argument constructor is not there that's why the problem is going to come yes friend all the people are in the position to understand this yes please observe you very very carefully about this one okay why this coding snippet 3 is invalid here in the child class super is there 
super means no argument but in the parent no argument constructor is not there that's why the problem is always going to come okay remember you be very carefully about this Any doubt? <coughs> so that's why it's always recommended. It's always recommended. Always recommended. Recommended to write no arg constructor. No arg constructor. If we are writing, if we are writing any arg constructor, if we are writing, if we are writing any arg constructor, any argument constructor it's always recommended to write a noir constructor if we are writing any argument constructor that's all so take a bit very special care about this this is a turn of the right can i go to the next level Yes, parent class constructor is already a variable. Then why the constructor is not calling? Vinay, observe that parent class constructor. What, what, what do you about your doubt? Can you please confirm? Parent class constructor not having no org constructor. It is a, so compiler is always going to place a DC the code. This is the code. Compiler knows only so far no argument. Compiler never going to worry about arguments. It's always no argument. No argument. In the parent class, if the no argument constructor is there, when I, in the parent, no argument constructor is there? No. It is inter-argument constructor. That's why the problem is coming. Okay. Suppose, if I write explicitly like this, is it valid or not? If I write explicitly like this, is it valid or not? Yes. Yes, here I'm calling inter argument constructor only. Yes, and now you never going to face any problem. Getting nothing. Compiler is always going to place sir. no argument call. That's why the problem is always coming, sir. Yes, this one is perfectly valid. Okay. That's all. This is uh, one important point related to the constructors. Next, one more point is there. This point also I will discuss with that constructor is going to complete. Yes, what that is uh, just wait. What the what the point is? Suppose here now listen this one. <clears throat> now I'm taking like this parent throws exception or throws IO exception is there. IO exception is there, sir. Import import Java dot io dot star is there assume that can you please tell is this question is 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 it valid or invalid this code is going to compile or not can you please confirm is this code is going to compile or not yes what's the answer you can you can tell yeah is it going to compile or not? Just I'm taking like this. Is it is it going to compile or not? No. No. It won't compile. It won't compile. By mistake, if you are taking like this, compile time attribute you are going to get. What the reason? Very important, sir. Very important. What the reason for that is? Now observe that. So in the child class, default constructor will be generated or not? Please confirm. In the child class, default constructor will be generated or not? Yes. Yes, default constructor will be generated in the child class. One minute, let me show the compile time error and then I will I will I will explain. Okay, I'm sure it is it is not going to compile. Yes, compile time error we are going to get. 
Okay, let me let me let me list out. Yeah, yeah. See, what the reason for that? Child class, all compiler is always going to generate default constructor. Can I use the word? This is the default constructor or not? Yes, this is the default constructor. In the call to parent class constructor is there. Call to parent class constructor is there. Sir, if you are calling a method, that method throws a checked exception. That method throws a checked exception. Compulsory, you are responsible to handle that checked exception. Okay, but uh, but uh, we are not we are not handling in this child class this parent parent constructor throws exception. It is a checked exception. So assume that is the method M1. You are calling M1. If we are calling a method, that method throws some checked exception. Compulsory. We are responsible to handle that exception, but uh, but uh, we are not handling that checked exception. That's why compile time error we are going to get, sir. What that exception is? Now we have a look once unreported exception, I/O exception in default constructor. Are you didn't uh, report about this exception? You didn't uh, report about this exception like uh, compile time error we are getting. Are you are you getting my point? Please confirm. So. If a method throws any checked exception, compulsory caller is responsible to handle that checked exception. Okay, that's what you should evade. So, how the caller can handle either try catch or by throws keyword? Assume that explicitly I'm taking this one inside a try block. Explicitly I'm taking this one inside a try block. Okay, try, try block. And then I go exception like this. I'm taking sir. Yeah. Can you please confirm? Now is it valid or not? Respond. Respond. Now is it valid or not? Re respond. Is it valid or not? Ah, compiler will give left and right. <laughs> compiler will give left and right. What the reason is? So inside the constructor, so far should be first line. So far should be first line. But now you are taking try the first line. That the condition we should not violate. Okay. Now here call to super must be first statement. Call to super must be first statement in uh, like like this is the compile time error we are going to get. Okay. Take very special care about about this one. Then how you can handle this compile time error, sir? Okay. Very very simple. Okay. Very simple. What you can do is what you can do. Forget about uh, okay. This just uh, we have only super is there. Okay, that's all. If a parent class constructor throws any checked exception, any checked exception, compulsory child class constructor should throw should throw the same checked exception or its parent should throw the same checked exception or its parent. Remember this one. If the parent class constructor throws any checked exception, compulsory child class constructor should throw the same checked exception or its parent. Remember this one. Now see, throws exception. So, like, is it valid or not? Can you please confirm? Can you please confirm? Now, is it valid or not? Are child is the responsible to throw IO exception, but uh, so child cannot handle exception which is more powerful. No problem. Perfectly itself is the value. Of course, in exceptional, we will discuss in detail about throws keyword, but anyway, evade sir. Okay, now this is another important case. Okay, like so if a parent class, if a parent class constructor throws any checked exception, throws any checked exception, exception. Then, then compulsory, then compulsory child class constructor, child class constructor should throw, should throw the same checked exception, should throw the same checked exception, should throw the same checked exception, or it's a parent. That's all. This is a beautiful point. What you should aware with this, the cinema of constructors got completed. Okay, like that. Bhaskar, we should not use. Try catch is not allowed here. 
in the child class we should not use the try catch what is the reason is because so far should be the first line inside a constructor but whenever we are using try catch try catch the problem here is yes a try will become first statement so far will become second statement or third statement in child class we can use a child constructor inside a try catch i mean this total constructor you want to take inside try catch baskar no 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 that's a, that's a wrong because try is a block where you have to take within the class directly you can't take inside constructor or inside method you have to take inside a class directly try we can't take so here just observe class test within that try um, i want to take here something like a, a try test like i'm trying to take okay so try block try catch block you have to take inside a method or inside a constructor but not in the class directly it is not the top level class entity remember inside a class we have to declare variables methods constructors but not try catch that's all there again see your constructor as a cinema okay right with this hoops concept got completed in the next uh, i will talk about uh, string string buffer string builder these kind of things friends but anyway just uh, there are some few questions we require to talk about with respect to hoops concept okay let me check tomorrow i may discuss those or otherwise just one or two days yeah right sir thanks